do 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 Josh's Hoarder Corner. All right, welcome back to Josh's Hoarder Corner. Uh, something in that is not vinyl because I promised I would not do any more vinyl unboxings, but I don't know if it's going to be something you really care about. Uh, it is from a very well known actor who has ventured on to do a lot of different things, uh, including music, including writing. He's done a lot, it seems. And I'll be honest, his most recent album, which came out like this year, the year before, well, no, last year, the year before, is actually pretty solid. Uh, it is called Gesture Land. And I gave it a listen not long ago, and I was really impressed, considering some of his early work wasn't really big to me. So let's talk about his career as an actor, because that's where you're going to know him the most. So from TV, you know him as Fox fucking Mulder from the X-Files. That's all I got to say. You already know David Duchovny. So Fox Mulder, he was also in Aquarius, he was in Californication, which was a great, great show. I really need to give that one a rewatch. Um... What else he do TV-wise? The Lone Gunman, uh, 2023 History of the World Part 2, and then 1990 to 1991 Twin Peaks. I've never watched Twin Peaks. I don't know what it is. I just knew that if I said that, somebody would be happy that if I did. And if I didn't say it, somebody would be pissed at me that I didn't say it. So Twin Peaks. Movie-wise, X-Files movies. Um, he was recently in You People, the Jonah Hill Netflix movie, uh, The Craft Legacy, Ooh, uh, Zoolander, Evolution, Return to Me. He's been in quite a few different movies as well. But what this is, is his most recent, recent writing. It is a novella titled The Reservoir. A novella by David Duchovny. A heartbreaking story of the cloaked complexities of father-daughter love framed as a short uh, as a sort of virtuoso suicide note. In this depiction of the breakthrough longings that come with growing older, it also struck me wonderfully as a contemporary death in Venice. Chris Carter of the X-Files says, Biting and funny, the reservoir is also deep and reflective, a mystery wrapped in a fever dream, a tale for our infectious times. Now this comes from uh, Akashic Books. That's where I ordered this. So check them out. I'll put a link in the description below. I don't know if any of these bundles are still available. But you see in here, it is signed by Mr. Duchovny himself. And it says, <clears throat> The reservoir follows an unexceptional man in an exceptional time. We see our present-day pandemic world in New York City through the eyes of a former Wall Street veteran, Ridley. As he looks back upon his life, and is in forced quarantine solitude, wondering what it all means and who he really is. Sitting and brooding night after night, gazing out his huge picture window, high above the Central Park Reservoir, Ridley spots a flashlight, a flashing light in an apartment across the park, as if a lonely quarantine person is signaling him in Morse code. His determination to find out who this mystery woman is leads him on an epic quest that will ultimately tempt him with either delusional madness or the fulfillment of his own mythic fear. Uh, fate? My bad. We accompany Ridley as he leaves the safety of his apartment window to save the Fifth Avenue femme fatale and descends into a dangerous, increasingly surreal world of global conspiracies, madness, and sickness of this viral time. As Ridley's actions grow more and more uncharacteristic, he realizes the key to all the mysteries of now and even all of history seem to lie deep beneath the freezing waters of the reservoir. The Reservoir is a twisted rom-com for our distant times, when the merest touch could kill and conspiracy theories propagate like viruses, a contemporary union of death in Venice, rear window, and the plague. David Duchovny is an award-winning actor, writer, director, New York Times best-selling author, and singer-songwriter. With an acting career spanning more than three decades, Duchovny is a two-time Golden Globe winner and four-time Emmy nominee. He is a prolific author whose fourth novel, Truly Like Lightning, was published in February 2021. His previous novels include Holy Cow, Bucky Fucking Dent, and Miss Subways. 
As a musician, Duchovny has released three studio albums, Hell or High Water, Every Third Thought, and Gesturland. Dude does it all. It's insane. Uh, highly recommend checking out his album, Gesturland. Don't stop there. Listen to it all. Bucky Fucking Dent was a great book. I highly recommend that one. I have Truly Like Lightning Upstairs. I just haven't had a chance to read it yet. This will be a fairly quick read. I mean, this comes in at 128 pages, so we'll check this out as soon as possible. And like I said, this was a bundle. So you got this, and then you got the Reservoir Flip book. Poems, lyrics, flip. Now this I'm not going to show to you. It's a poem book. Uh, it's got different stories and st or different poems in here, like I just said. And lyrics, uh, I don't know for certain. I'm pretty sure some of these are his uh, songs from his recent works, but I can't say for certain. So just a cool little addition. Link in the description below. What is your favorite thing that David Duchovny has done? Is it his music? Is it The X-Files? Californication and The X-Files are two shows that I have got to rewatch. And I'm sure at least 12 of you will say, Josh... You need to figure out uh, what you're missing and check out Twin Peaks. Till next time, my friends. I'll see you soon.